Hi, Foot Poopies. I hope you enjoyed today's message, the calendar, the poem, all of our fun little activities that we did in our first video. So now we're going to read our book for today. We're gonna to do our read aloud. Do you remember what we're going to be reading about? I gave you a little sneak peek in the other video. It's gonna be about the moon, right? Because we're learning about what? Outer space. So let's take a look at the cover of the book. What do you notice? What do you notice? I notice the moon. How does the moon look? Does he look happy or sad? Yeah, he looks pretty happy, right? I notice, what is this? The earth. And what else do you notice up here? Do you see anything? What's this whole background? Do you think it's nighttime or daytime? Nighttime, and I see lots of stars. So the title of this book is called Moon's First Friends. Moon's First Friends. Okay, let's see what this is about. The moon was queen of the night sky. She was so bright that everything she touched glowed with silver light. But after many, many years had passed, she was lonely. If only someone would visit me, she said. Oh, she's feeling lonely. Can you show me what lonely feels like? Yeah, she's a little slouched over. She has a sad face. She's feeling lonely. Hello down there, she called to the lumbering dinosaurs. If you come up here, you won't feel so heavy. You'll feel lighter than air. But the dinosaurs stayed where they were. Why did they join her? Under the moon's watchful eye, the surface of the earth changed. The moon saw glorious new creatures come and go. So these are the, all of the creatures. What kind of creatures do you see? Which creature is your favorite? Which one's your favorite? This is my favorite. What are these? Elephants. And they have their tusks, right? But they all stayed earthbound and rarely looked up to her in the night sky. But then she saw something new. There are millions of stars for you up here, she offered. But the people stayed where they were. So what do you notice? There's lots of stars, right? And the stars created something. We're gonna learn about that today and maybe later in the week. Those have a special name. The moon watched as she circled and circled the earth. On the wide sweep of the hot Sierra, the Egyptians built some pyramids that towered towards the sky. They're trying to reach me, the moon said. But through the pyramids were mighty. They came nowhere near high enough to reach the moon. Perhaps they didn't see her. So is anyone visiting the moon yet? No, not yet. She spun and twirled from moon to moon to silver and pearl back again, showing off for the people below. Can you spin and twirl like the moon? Spin and twirl. But no one came. So what do you notice about the moon? There are some dark parts, right? So these are different phases of the moon because the moon changes all the time. So sometimes you might look up in the sky and the moon starts to look different each night because it changes to a different phase. So this is what it looks like each night. She watched as down on earth, people came up with all kinds of ways to get from one place to another but they did not sail or drive or cycle or float to the moon. Then on a windy day in North Carolina, the first airplane flew above a beach. You're doing great, encourage the moon. You just need to fly a little higher. But the people on earth only traveled to visit one another. Was it possible they didn't know she was there? Do you think the people don't know the moon's up there and that she's feeling all alone? At high noon, the moon slipped purposely between the earth and the sun, blocking all the daylight. Then she slid aside again, allowing the sun to shine through. No one could have missed that, she thought. But still, no one ventured away from the earth. Would she ever have a visitor? Do you think the moon will ever have a visitor? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Will anyone ever go visit her and cheer her up? 
Just when the moon was losing hope, the people on Earth began to experiment with rockets, and the moon watched with great interest, but the humans still had a lot to learn. One day, Moon's hopes soared. A chimpanzee in Mercury capsule rocketed towards her. A visitor, at last! But alas, he returned to Earth without reaching her. So what does a rocket ship do? It goes where? All the way in the sky, right? But the rocket ship didn't reach the moon yet. And then one hot July day, a tremendous rocket ship stood up upon a launch pad with two small spaceships at the top. The countdown began. Okay, so the rocket ship is getting ready to blast off. Can you help me count down for the rocket ship to blast off? And then once we say blast off, you could act like a rocket ship and you could blast off. All right, can you help me? All right, let's count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! What happened? Where did the rocket ship go? At 30 stories high and weighing 6 million pounds, the rocket rose into the air and with an explosion of flames, slowly at first, then faster and faster. The rocket fell away in stages, but the two spaceships hurtled toward the moon. They are coming, the moon said. They are actually coming. How is the moon feeling? Really happy. Show me a happy face. Really happy. One of the spaceships remained at a distance, circling, but the other came closer and closer until a last little spindle leg touched down. Welcome, she greeted the men who emerged from the ship. Did they make it to the moon? Yeah, they did! The astronauts walked across her surface with great bounding steps that made the dust boom. They seemed delighted with how far they could travel with each stride. The moon gave them gifts of moon rocks and dust. Take these back to Earth, she said. Then even though I can't visit you, a part of me will be there. The men left her a present in return, a handsome plaque that read, Here men from planet Earth first stood foot away upon the Earth, upon the moon. July 1969. They also left her a beautiful flag with red and white stripes and a scattering of white stars on a blue background. So what do you see? Our what? Our flag on the moon. Too soon the astronauts had to leave. Goodbye, the moon said as their ship floated away into a starry distance. Come back anytime. She sighed with happiness. At last, someone had visited. So who visited her? The astronauts on a rocket ship. And she's feeling happy. And now she had hope that it would happen again and again. Maybe one day you will visit her. How cool would that be if you got on a rocket ship and you visited the moon? So today people are still visiting the moon. How cool is that? And they use a rocket ship to do so. So I have a challenge for you. Do you think you could build a rocket ship? Yeah, maybe you could. And maybe you could use recyclable items, household items, whatever you would like. So my challenge for you is to build a rocket ship. And my question is, would you want to visit the moon? Would you want to go all the way up there and visit the moon? I can't wait to hear your answers. Happy creating. Bye, Bumblebees.